Did you know that the small Spanish town of Gojar is so ancient, it has been inhabited since the Bronze Age? Nestled in the southern part of Spain, in the region of Andalusia, Gojar is more than just a picturesque locale. It's a place where history has left its indelible mark, where every stone whispers tales of the past. This quaint town is a treasure trove of historical events and cultural transitions, having seen the ebb and flow of various civilizations over thousands of years. From the Bronze Age settlers who first discovered its potential to the Moors, who later shaped its landscape, Gojar has been a silent witness to the march of time. Its name, Gojar, echoes the richness of its past, a past that stretches back to the dawn of civilization. Its history is not just confined to the annals of Spain, but intertwines with narratives from far-off lands. Gojar's history stretches back millennia, and it's about to get even more interesting. From Bronze Age settlements to Roman rule, Gojar has seen it all. The journey of Gojar's history begins in the Bronze Age, an era when the first traces of human settlement emerged. These early inhabitants, drawn to the region's abundant natural resources, laid the foundation for the town we know today. As we traverse the corridors of time, we find ourselves in the Roman era. The Romans, with their characteristic flair for engineering and organization, left an indelible mark on the town. They constructed roads, bridges and aqueducts, many of which still stand as a testament to their architectural prowess. The Roman influence is not merely confined to infrastructure. Their laws, language and culture seeped into the fabric of Goja, shaping its identity. Following the Roman rule, Goja entered a new chapter under the Moors. The Moorish period was a time of cultural efflorescence. Moorish architecture, with its intricate designs and sophisticated use of light and space, transformed the town's landscape. The Alhambra, a stunning palace complex in nearby Granada, is a shining example of this architectural style. Under Moorish rule, Goja also experienced advancements in agriculture, science and the arts, enriching its cultural heritage. However, the town's history was not always peaceful. Throughout the centuries, Gojar found itself at the crossroads of various conflicts, from the Reconquista to the Napoleonic Wars. Each of these conflicts, while challenging, also played a role in shaping the town's resilience and spirit. The town's rich tapestry of history extends to its name as well. The term Gojar is believed to be derived from the Arabic Gajar, meaning cave. This is likely a reference to the town's many cave-dwelling homes, a unique feature that harks back to its early history. In the midst of all these influences, Gojar has managed to carve out its unique identity. Its history is a testament to its resilience, its ability to absorb different influences, and its capacity to reinvent itself while staying true to its roots. After centuries under various empires, Gojar found its unique identity. And this identity, shaped by the ebb and flow of history, continues to define Gojar today. Ever wondered how a small Spanish town and a widespread ethnic group in the Indian subcontinent could be connected? Let's unravel this mystery. Our journey begins with the name Gojar. This Spanish town's name is intriguingly similar to the Gujar, a prominent ethnic group scattered across the Indian subcontinent. But is it just a coincidence? Or is there more to this story? Let's dive into the world of etymology, the study of word origins. The name Gojar is believed to have originated from the Arabic term Guzar, meaning passage. Now, here's where it gets interesting. The Gujars too were historically known as Gurjar, a term thought to mean destroyer of the enemy. With both names having roots in ancient languages, could there possibly be a connection? Some historians suggest that during the Moorish rule over Spain, which lasted from the 8th to the 15th centuries, there was a significant migration of Gujars from the Indian subcontinent. These Gujars, they propose, may have established their presence in Spain, influencing the names and culture of the regions they settled in, including Gujar. Gujar Partihar ruled India 5th to 11th century. Maybe this time of Gujar rules Gujar traders settled in this region, or these Gujars belong to Gujar subcaste White Huns. Imagine for a moment the journey these Gujars would have undertaken from the vibrant subcontinent, across vast deserts and seas, to the heart of Spain. It's a testament to human resilience and the incredible migrations that have shaped our world. However, it's important to note that these theories, while compelling, are not definitively proven. 
The connection between Gojar and the Gujars remains a fascinating puzzle, a piece of the grand jigsaw of human history waiting to be fully pieced together. Yet even without concrete proof, these theories offer a fascinating perspective on our interconnected world. They remind us that ties can exist where we least expect them, bridging gaps between cultures, continents and centuries. From the heart of Spain to the bustling subcontinent, the tale of Goja and the Gujars is a testament to the interconnectedness of our world. Igojar, a town with a rich past and a vibrant present. Today, this enchanting Spanish town is a lively blend of cultures, brimming with the energy of its people. The echoes of its past resound in every corner, from the local cuisine that carries hints of its historical ties, to the architecture that bears witness to its heritage. Yet Gojar is not just a relic of the past, it's a thriving community, preserving its history while forging ahead. Gojar, a glimpse into the past and a beacon for the future. Gojar's story is a journey through time and across continents. A tale echoing back to the dawn of civilization, this Spanish town's history is intertwined with the Gujar community of the subcontinent, showcasing how global threads of history can weave together. From its ancient roots to its vibrant present, Gojar exemplifies our shared human heritage, reminding us that we are more connected than we often realize. In the end, we're all a part of history, and Gojar is a shining example of that shared heritage.